Hello guys, welcome to Friday night self-care. I don't know. What I do know is I spent an offensive amount of money yesterday at Mecca because I, like many people, are aware of the hype that is Charlotte Tilbury and also Tatcha and as Miskin Minerals, basically the three brands that I they bought from. And I had been meaning to try them. And I do wanna not gatekeep and share my experience because I look like my second most watched video after what I eat in a day and day in the life are like reviews, first impressions of like really expensive high-end stuff that everyone's raving about. And then also like dupes and things that are just as good. And I'm a firm believer of just because it's expensive does not mean it's good. So I figured we would just unbox these I'll show you guys what I got, and I'm also going to try these products and tell you guys what I think. I just had a shower, nothing special, not, not a full body shower, I did the absolute least, I literally just washed my body with soap, and I cleansed and gently exfoliated my face in the shower with these products here. Again, not sponsored. These are a little bit expensive. Uh, I really like them and I've used them for years, but before I could afford expensive things, I use this, which is a great dupe and it's perfectly fine and it's significantly cheaper. So this is great, but this is a close second. So first things first, I actually initially saw Sarah's Day, who is probably my favorite YouTuber ever. She used these and I was like, oh, I love a good sheet mask. Do I think they're placebo? Yes. I think that there are literally only five serums that you really need not even need there are five things that are useful and beneficial to your skin things like vitamin c retinol vitamin a hyaluronic acid if you've got dry skin like me maybe a chemical exfoliant if you're feeling adventurous like there's not a lot of things you need maybe a niacinamide a good b vitamin i love that but um as far as sheet masks i think that they can't really give you too much that a no fuss serum like the ordinary i'm obsessed with the ordinary um, they're so affordable and like Oh, I could talk about them all day. Ordinary is phenomenal. But I saw Sarah's Day use these and I was like, oh, they look so nice. Like, I just want to try them, see if they live up to the hype. They probably don't. Um, not me being cynical, but these are the Tatcha. These aren't the cheap ones. There are two types the sales associate told me. This is the Luminous Deep Hydration Lifting Mask. And there's four in here. For the price of this, I thought there would be at least 10. So this was... $142 for four sheet face masks. So I also got a ch cheap, cheaper face mask. So this is a individual one. So there are four in here. This is an individual one. This is a Mecca home brand one. Okay, so this actually wasn't cheap. This was $16 um, for a face mask, for a single face mask that's home brand. I probably think that is quite expensive. Um, but nevertheless, we will try. And I also got this other random one by Kar Karuna Hydrating Face Mask. This was $12, so a little bit more affordable. All right, so in the incredibly freaking expensive one. Okay, so this has alcohol in it, which I don't really appreciate. Okay, so like the focus of this is the extremely rich red algae. So, so far we've got water, glycerin, which is a humectant, just like a chemical to allow skin to retain moisture. Methyl glucose 20, again for moisture. Alcohol, dun dun dun. I do not like alcohol in my skincare. Don't get me wrong, like alcohol is fine if you don't have sensitive or dry skin, but I personally have very dry skin and I like it can irritate my skin a little bit, but alcohol can be used for um, like preservation and also allowing penetration of some of the other ingredients deeper into the skin. And I don't know about this Camellia Sinensis leaf extract. That sounds pretty, I'm just gonna have a little Google of that one. All right, so tea polyphenols improve microvessel system and microcirculation in the skin, increase microvessel elasticity. So supposedly, it's good for hydration and anti-inflammation. Inositol is rice water. Yes, rice water, and it's used to, again, just draw moisture into the skin. Now the famous algae extract that is like the forefront of the advertising. I've got an article here, not like a news article, like a peer-reviewed scientific journal article, that was published in 2018 that concludes that this algae extract reduces inflammation, wrinkles, and dry skin, basically. Ugh, P 
perfume and fragrance. I hate it. Why? Unnecessary. What is royal extract jelly? Why is that a thing? Sounds suspicious. Encourages collagen production. Yeah, but I can't believe anything unless it's peer-reviewed. I've got a 2020 article here from NCBI, so apparently it works. Wound healing. I'm a bit peckish. I think I'm gonna make pumpkin soup for dinner. I don't know. I'm getting kind of bored of this actually. I feel like I have ADHD. I think I just want to like put it on my face. I am not skeptical. Like. I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of frills on this. Sericin, which is used in wound healing, so I assume it has like a similar sort of effect with collagen and all that cell turnover. Ooh, the packaging's a bit fun. This is what they look like. This one alone is what, like $50? No, that's not max. Ooh. Ooh, that's strong. Oh my goodness. Ooh, okay. It, it does smell like tea a little bit. It's wet though. There's a lot of product in here. As there should be. Oh, okay, yeah, it's like dripping. Okay, I'm gonna like hover it over my legs so I don't waste any product. <laughs> Wait, mesh away. Which side is the mesh side? I'm struggling, folks. Oh, she's upside down. Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. She's in a different tax bracket. They don't have a little under chin bit. How povo. No, I've got to peel off the, the mesh. Oh, is this it? No. Where's the peel off stuff? Wouldn't it be funny if I have it on back the front? Oh, there she is. Oh, is this right? It's not really wanting to peel off. What is the purpose of this? You did this for what? It's very, um, it feels like niacinamide. Like it's very, not oily, but like silky. Enjoy the cooling and tingling. Excuse me. What's cooling and tingling? Probably the fucking alcohol, to be, to be honest. It's probably the alcohol. So I'm noticing that it's not really like, like sticking to my chin very well. I don't know. But I figured I'd continue with the ingredients list. There's only like a couple things left. So we've got what's called a chondrous crispus extract, which is just another algae. I really like the algae. And thymus serpylum extract, which is a plant that apparently gives off like an antimicrobial effect. Not sure about that. Polyglycerol 10 isosterate, which is just another water loving molecule. Do we have any left? Oh yeah, we've still got some left. I'm just gonna put it in my hands this time. I'm going to do our arms. I have really bad keratosis pilaris, which are the little bumpies you get on your arms and on your legs, sometimes like on your lower face. I've had them since I was like 10 and I hate it. I'm like really self-conscious about people touching my arms because they are prickly. Boink. So other than the face masks from Mecca, we got Naked Sundays hydration glow mist i literally bought this because it's 50 spf and my favorite moisturizer at the moment is actually like a cetaphil cheap 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 like chemist no fuss no frills moisturizer that i am obsessed with it's so good i'll insert it here in the price and so i want to wear that but obviously i want to see it's just like falling off my face i want to wear the moisturizer that i love but it doesn't have any spf in it I have like a couple of SPF moisturizers, but I really like that one. And so I just want to like be able to spritz on some SPF and not have to use actual sunscreen because it stinks. We've got Tatcha again. This is the Luminous Deep Hydrating Firming Eye Serum. More algae, sunflower seed oil, sodium hyaluronate, moisture, hydration, stabilizers, some preservatives. And that's about all I can see. Alcohol, again, I do not want to be putting alcohol products under my eye. This is the most I have ever spent on an eye cream, for sure. This is absurd. This is $127 for eye cream. And I did really contemplate whether to buy this or not, but I had like a little research, like best facial oils, and this was like the one that came up. And I've been really mindful. I've wanted to try this brand for a really long time, but I did learn that they're a little bit problematic. 
So I'm hoping that that's like resolved now because I did end up buying the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil and it was $102. The facial oil that is like my current go-to that I've just finished that prompted me to buy this one is literally just the chemist brand rosehip oil and I mix that sometimes not all the time I'll just use rosehip oil love it it's great rosehip oil with like a little tiny bit of pure vitamin E and these are like less than $15 at the chemist and I love it it's like no fuss you know exactly what you're putting on your skin falling off my it's literally like falling off my face stop next is the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisturizer and I saw this all over TikTok and I I don't know about it. I'm a bit sus. I've heard that it's really good to like put on under makeup and like I don't really wear a lot of makeup. I'm more so into skincare. Sounds like a lot of frills to me. I also got the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation again which I saw on TikTok and I was like I'll try it. Got it. They did a color match on me because I am incompetent, and I got a two neutral. This is literally like coming off my face. I think I'm gonna take it off now. It's still a bit wet though. Wait, I feel like... <gasps> Guys, I did this wrong, I think. This is the... Oh, I like put this on my face. What the fuck? I already peeled off one of those. Oh, this is the worst. I'm gonna put it back on because I don't think I should have had the little cage on it. Oh, that feels much better. <laughs> I hope you learned from me. All right, that that feels like it's sticking to my face now. All right, so the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. It's small, by the way. It was sixty-five dollars. I'm not gonna open it yet. And f almost finally, I have heard really good things about the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And if you guys have been following me, you know I'm like on the hunt for a good mascara. I really like Better Than Sex. As a mascara when it first goes on it makes your eyelashes look phenomenal but the fallout is insane like i will literally look in the mirror 10 minutes later and i have like these insane panda eyes and i haven't cried or and i haven't sweat and it's just awful and it's not worth it at all i don't like it very much um because of that it's basically like not wearable i do sort of use every day the nars climax which is okay it does still have a little bit of fallout but i'm desperately looking for one with no fallout and then I read that if you don't want like all of the panda eye stuff going on, you need to get a waterproof one. And I got a waterproof one from the drugstore and it sucks. <laughs> I can't win. And finally, I did an order from Esme Skin Minerals. God, I freaking wish I was sponsored. Uh, if anyone wants to sponsor me, let me know. <laughs> I do like the packaging, it's very cute. And I'm not even joking when I said it came in a, a day, like a day. It's very frilly, it's very aesthetic. It's not, not that it's gimmicky, but it's very like, very aesthetic. Their, their advertising team, very good. I saw this and I used a discount code from Sarah's Day because they're expensive. And I want to support her because I love her. I got the face mask collection. Aren't they so cute? I'm like all into masks at the moment. See, yeah, these are the opposite of what I usually go for. I use like cosmeceuticals. I use Ultraderm, Cetaphil, CeraVe, The Ordinary. Like, no fuss, no fragrance, no colour, no packaging, like, no gimmicky nonsense stuff. I want stuff that just works. And this, first impressions are it's beautiful, but I'm worried that they focus on the appearances more than the product, the quality of the ingredients. But we are not going to judge a book by its cover. Okay, so these were $139 for these mini face masks. <laughs> I'm actually gonna put on the eye cream now. It's tiny. This is, what is this, like 10 mils? 15 mils. Massage under eyes with cool ceramic applicator for bright eyes every day. See, when it says things like bright eyes, I get skeptical because it's just caffeine, which you would wanna use during the day if you've got like puffy eyes, but it's a quick fix. It's a band-aid. It doesn't actually do anything to your skin long-term. Put this little applicator on it. Ooh, that feels quite nice, actually. Is there any coming out yet? Oh, that, that feels sensational. Oh my God. I could like keep doing this. Oh, that feels really good. What the hell? It's like cold. I don't know how it's cold. Oh, I don't even care if this doesn't do anything. This feels so nice. Oh, soft. See you guys in the morning. All right, update on the Naked Sundays Hydrating Glow Mist, which is SPF 50. So I've just moisturized my face with my favorite moisturizer, which is just the Cetaphil Daily Lotion. 
I think. And yeah, I've used this a couple of times and I really like it. It's 50 plus FBF, but like, it smells fine. It's not greasy. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like watermelon, kind of. Has hyaluronic acid, kakadu plum, and watermelon extract. So yeah, I definitely buy this one again. It's super light and yeah, like I said, my favorite moisturizer doesn't have SPF in it. And I do have a couple of SPF moisturizers, but I don't know. I just, I'm preferring this. It's much lighter. Do I think that the Tatra mask made a difference? Slightly, yes. I would say yes. I think my skin is softer today. I went and saw my mum. I got a pedicure today with her and she complimented my skin. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and you're supposed to use it. I, I believe as a, it says instant moisturizer. I don't know if you're supposed to use, ooh, it's fragranced. Ooh, okay, it's like a, almost like a whipped. Ooh, this feels nice. Okay, okay, I don't know what is in this, but it feels very smooth. I heard that this is better applied with a brush rather than a sponge. So that's what we're gonna do. Color matched in the store. Oh my God, please sort out my redness. Oh, that is, okay, this is very nice. Whoa, did you see how easily that just blended right on out? I used a really small amount too, okay. So she's not thick, she's not thin. Uh, she really sticks to the face. It's probably the moisturizer. Oh, that's really nice. Okay, it's it's quite light. I only used a really small amount. I feel like while I'm here, I'll also use the Pillow Talk lashes. Uh, I am gonna wear fake lashes. My favorite ones, Holy Grail, The Style Sweetheart. Okay, Louis Vuitton out of bag. Very cheap new shoes. This is my Camilla that I got for forty dollars off Marketplace. It's a little bit small for me. It's a size one, probably a size two. And this is the finished glam. I'm yet to put lip gloss on. End of the night update. This is my face. It's so shiny. I literally look like I'm sweaty or wet. And I just looked at the photos that I took and they are shiny. So I'm not like overly impressed. I also didn't use a setting spray. I probably should have. But yeah, the mascara does not pass the test. Especially this eye. Like what the fuck? I shouldn't have to like wipe under my eyes. Okay, so I actually went and got the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter from a different Mecca because the one that I got my haul from didn't have it. And I'm the color 2.5 Fair. And I'm really, really, really excited to try this. I'm going to use the cream again, which I did really like. Not sure if it justifies its price yet, but I did really like it. So I'm going to use it again, the Charlotte's Magic Cream. I do really like how it feels, like as a primer. I guess I'm just going to go sort of like all over my face. Initial impressions are it's much thinner than the beautiful skin. I was going to just use it on its own. It's, oh, it's very glowy. I don't know if you guys can see that. I changed my mind. I will be putting the foundation over the top. Beautiful skin foundation. Yeah, that is so nice. I don't know if the Hollywood Flawless Filter is necessary, really. But I do really like this foundation, actually. My usual go-tos for foundation are L'Oreal True Match as a drugstore. Otherwise, I have really been liking the YSL Touche, Touche Le Tente, I think it is. And I also really like our Estee Lauder Double Wear. If I could just choose one, it would be the foundation. And I think it's a tie between the Flawless Filter and the Cream. I really like how the cream feels, and I'm not really sure if the filter, flawless filter, did very much. But that's really nice. Gosh, I look pale. It's really nice. I like it a lot. I am going to set it with just some translucent powder. And I might give you guys, like, an update, like, in a couple of hours uh, to show you guys how it's holding up. So just decided I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push-Up Lashes as my mascara. I'm going to curl my lashes. I am looking for a good lash serum 
If you guys can recommend one that you've tried, I would love to hear it. It's doing wonderful things for my lashes. I don't know if you guys can see, but it looks really good. So far, so good. So it's actually been like an hour. That's all. And this is the mascara update. So we do have uh, some fallout. They are making the lashes like kind of stick up and look curly. I do think they look a little bit crusty and spider-like, not very fluffy. Uh, and I also wanted to show you guys that I do have like concealer crease, even though I'm not actually wearing any concealer. I'm just using the Charlotte Tilbury products. And I did set under my eyes and I used a setting spray. Um, so that's not great. Hello guys. It is like a week. I think it's been like a week, maybe less. I just got back from a camping trip and I hadn't like showered or washed my face in three days. And surprisingly, it's okay. It's okay. And my skin is feeling kind of dry. So Esme Skin Minerals today, the mask collection. And I'm kind of hesitant. I don't want to use charcoal or anything because I don't want it to like strip my skin of the moisture that it has left. So I'm going to use the Hyaluronic Hydrating Booster Mask. No fragrance from what I can tell. Yeah, okay, this feels like really thick moisturizer. It doesn't really feel like a traditional mask. Apply generously to a cleanse face. When ready to wash off, wash off with a towel. Okay, but how long? I'll put a bit more on, just in case. It feels quite nice on, actually. It, it feels like the Clarins Beauty Balm, which I love. So it's probably been like 15 minutes and honestly it doesn't feel like a mask at all it feels like it's kind of soaked in it feels like a nice thick moisturizer but i am gonna like just sort of wipe it off and then i'm gonna use the new facial oil by drunk elephant all right i'm quite pleasantly surprised it's not dry at all it's almost like Slimy? I don't know. That's a bad descriptive word. It's not dry at all. It feels like it did a good job. I quite like this one actually. But I'm going to go in with the Drunk Elephant face oil. This one smells bad. Like it's not um, fragranced, I don't think. But I really do not like the smell of it. It's like a good viscosity. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. I don't know if I'd buy this again just because the smell is really bad. I probably just prefer like rosehip oil, but unless it does anything phenomenal to my skin, which it probably won't, I'll let you guys know. It's another day. I'm doing a face mask. This is the Mecca one, so the more affordable one. A lot of product in here. Jelly. Oh, oh, this is nice. Very wet. It's got a cold sensation. I like that it's clear. Oh, this is nice. It feels like uh, niacinamide. Mmm, feels really nice. I do like that it's cut into two pieces. It allows you to like move it a little bit more. So this is immediately after. Actually, no, that's a lie. It's been like 20 minutes since I've taken off the mask. I haven't put any other products on. Um, I like it a lot. It It sort of just feels like... Vitamin B3. Feels like nice cinema. Um, but I do like it's like sort of given me like a little bit of a glow, I would say. I'm just gonna put like moisturizer over the top and some sunscreen, but overall I would purchase that again. It has been like a week since I did the last face mask. So this is the last one we have left, the Karuna one. So I have just cleansed and exfoliated my face in the shower. And it's feeling a little bit dry. So it's this is a hydrating mask. Oh, okay, it just smells like coconut water. It smells good. Oh, it's so wet and very cool. Is this right? Ooh. <laughs> oh, this feels really nice on, actually. Mmm, I like this a lot. Initial thoughts, very nice. Feels like quite, um, like nice cinnamide I think, like just quite serum-y, very wet. I do like the feeling of this one. So I'll leave it on for maybe like 10 minutes and let you guys know what I think afterwards. 
So I just took the face mask off and I put the other side, like one side on me and then the other side I just put on Leo and I know like you're not supposed to do that, it's kind of gross, but like whatever. And he doesn't, he looks so cute. <laughs> you look like the guy from Halloween. <laughs> but initial thoughts, like it's very serum heavy, like there's just still so much product on my face. Uh, it feels quite nice, uh, feeling very glowy, uh, but it's just because it looks wet. But I'll keep you guys updated if I wake up tomorrow feeling any kind of change it is the next day i don't think that the mask did anything crazy i did like it i probably would buy it again maybe if i wanted another face mask i would buy the mecca face mask again i would happily use the tattoo again but i would not pay 142 dollars for four face masks again it is not worth it in my opinion I would not recommend the Drunk Elephant face serum. It's fine as a face serum, but it's super expensive and it smells disgusting. I think rosehip oil and vitamin E oil are just like the perfect alternative. I think that the Charlotte Tilbury mascara is a good mascara if you don't experience bad fallout like me. The Magic Cream is pretty good. The Flawless Filter is pretty good. The foundation is definitely the highlight of all of the Charlotte Tilbury products that I tried. I would buy the foundation again. And as far as the Esme Skin Minerals, I haven't used all of them. I do think they're like a cute little variety pack and I did like that mask that I did a lot actually, the Hyaluronic. But again, it's super expensive. So as like an everyday thing, I wouldn't buy that again. Anyway, if you guys have any skincare recommendations or any mascara recommendations, please leave them below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was a big one. Love you guys so much. See you in the next video.